Hi guys, welcome to OxyVlogs. In this video, we're gonna talk about cost of living in Dubai in 2020. If this is your first time here and you would like to know more information about life in Dubai, don't forget to hit subscribe button and the notification icon so you will not miss anything. I think the biggest expense you're gonna have in Dubai is rent. It's not common in Dubai to rent apartments on a short-term basis. Usually people sign a yearly contract and you pay by checks, by two checks, four checks, six checks, or one check. Currently in these conditions, uh, you might find some deals where you pay by 12 checks, so every month, but still you need to sign a yearly contract. Usually apartments come without furniture, electricity, utility bills, internet are not included, so you need to pay for this separately. Let's say you want to rent a one-bedroom apartment in a good location with access to the metro station. It will cost you on average something between 4.5 and 6.5 thousand dirhams per month if you sign a yearly contract. Then in addition to that you need to pay around 600 or 900 dirhams per utility bills, electricity, um, water and AC air conditioning and 400 dirhams for internet every month. If you don't have a budget for an apartment, you can rent a room. Uh, it's quite common in Dubai. For instance, if you rent a room in a good location with easy access to the metro station, it will cost you approximately 3.5, 4,000 dirhams for a master bedroom. Master bedroom means you will have your own bathroom. But also you can find cheaper options. Again, even you can find cheaper one bedroom apartments. Dubai has so many areas, there are so many new developments and there are many good deals, but again, you need a car to move around. So if you're not driving, if uh, you cannot buy or rent a car, you need to find some options that are close to the metro station, because otherwise you will spend so much money on taxi. If you want to know more about prices in different areas, these are two most popular websites that we use in Dubai, just check them out. The next expense is your mobile phone, data, calls. There are several operators in Dubai. I personally use Virgin Mobile because I don't need to sign any contract. For example, for 100 local calls SMS, 10 GB of data every month, they charge 186 dirhams. And I can cancel it anytime or I can downgrade or upgrade my plan. Uh, you can uh, check other options that another provider, Etisalat, is offering because they have postpaid, prepaid plans. If you sign a contract, maybe you can uh, get some really good deal. It's up to you. I advise you to check different providers, different deals because they change them from time to time and just find the best one that works for you. Now let's talk about transportation. So there are different ways how you're gonna move around Dubai. So you can move by metro, you can rent a car, you can buy a car, or you can use taxi. If you're gonna use metro, the regular ticket will cost you between four and 8.5 dirhams one way. It depends on the number of zones you're gonna cross. Taxi in Dubai is cheaper than in some cities in Europe. And I personally use Karim, it's very convenient. They have an app, they have different cars based on your needs. And the prices start from 1.9 dirhams uh, per kilometer and the base fare is 8 dirhams. So what is base fare? When you take a taxi, you sit in a car and you can see 8 dirhams on the meter straight away. Don't panic, it's normal because um, they start counting not from zero, they have this base fare, 8 dirhams for example, but during rush hours it's even higher I think. If you get a driving license in Dubai, uh, you can rent or buy a car. If you're gonna rent a car, the prices start from 1.2 thousand dirhams per month. In addition to that, you would need to pay for petrol, which is quite cheap in Dubai, and for Salik. Salik is something that you pay when you cross certain areas in Dubai, like toll gate, and uh, you will pay 4 dirhams every time when you across that area. So usually people spend quite a lot of money on Salik every month. If you buy a car, in addition to Salik petrol, you would need to pay for an insurance, uh, which is uh, around 2.25 and 3.25% from the value of your car. Be careful with the traffic fines in Dubai because they're so high. Here are some of them. Now let's talk about food. So in Dubai you can get almost everything delivered to your door. Even small grocery shop in your building on the ground floor 
can deliver your order to your apartment. If you're lazy to go down, you just need to send them WhatsApp or call them and that's it. Uh, that's why people are so lazy in Dubai because literally you can get everything delivered to your apartment. Even if you want to do manicure, pedicure, there are some services that can send you specialists to your apartment, to your house and they will do everything for you. Now uh, let's go to the website of one of the most famous uh, supermarkets in Dubai and let's check the prices. I'm now on the website of one of the most popular hypermarkets in Dubai, Carrefour. They have big stores and small stores as well across the city. Uh, they have average prices on the market, so let's check some items, how much they cost. Uh, for example, let's start with fruits and vegetables and go through the most popular items. So banana, 3 dirhams per kg, tomato, 4.8, cucumber, 2.45 dirhams per kg, broccoli, 9 dirhams, apple, almost 7 dirhams per kg, lemon, 6.5. So these are approximate prices on food, on fruits and vegetables. Uh, Carrefour hypermarkets, they have great variety of meat from different countries, so you can check meat from Brazil, from New Zealand, from Australia, so for example, um, Brazilian beef cubes, 29 dirhams per kg, chicken, 500 grams, uh, I think it's local chicken, 13 dirhams, uh, Brazilian ribeye steak, 50 dirhams per kg, New Zealand beef uh, ribeye steak, 89 dirhams per kg. Fresh salmon uh, filet from Norway, 68 dirhams per kg. Uh, calamari shrimps, uh, 49 dirhams per kg. Here they have for 34 as well. 30 large eggs, 18 dirhams per pack. Uh, full fat milk, 2 liters, 10 dirhams. Fresh yogurt, 1 kg for 5 dirhams. Carrefour is making uh, their own fresh bread. So for, for instance, uh, French baguette, 2 dirhams. Uh, another tradition baguette, 3 dirhams. <laughs> Multi-seed sandwich bread, 5 dirhams. Facial tissue, 20 dirhams for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, packs, 200 sheets each. Toilet paper, 12 rolls for 20 dirhams. These are the average prices on groceries in Dubai. Of course, there are some supermarkets that offer cheaper groceries and there are supermarkets like Waitrose, Spinis, where you can find more expensive brands. So uh, everyone can find uh, some options for them. Uh, in addition, we have fruit and vegetable market, uh, we have fish market in Dubai where you can buy fresh products uh, and especially it makes sense to go there if you want to buy something in bulk. I think I mentioned all expenses that you need to know about before coming to Dubai. Dubai is not a cheap city, but again, if you uh, manage your budget wisely, uh, you shouldn't have any problems and make sure that you save some money as well. Thank you for watching this video. If it was useful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to know more about my daily life, follow me on Instagram. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.